dum bum dum bum dum bum dum bum Welcome to Man of the Cringes and we are back with Danganronpa to kill someone eventually in the game. Well, someone will die eventually. It's inevitable. Let's begin. Right, I don't remember what we were doing last. I, it's, it's been a fucked up few days and I got a headache the size of Kansas. What else does it do? Talk to Shuichi? Hey! It's because of something. Something that's only here. Something that's only here. So, spot the difference? Ele electric blackboard. Okay, it's not the electric blackboard. Vin? Ha! Ha! ha. I see you. Uh, is this a vent? That's. It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize the smell immediately. Hmm. The smell. <laughs> yeah. It smells like books. Well, so Shigechi told me that they're leading closer to the vent. Ah. Ah. It smells like musty old books. Does this lead to the library? Well. It's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. It seems like such a shitty oh. plan. Right? <laughs> so, you use the vent to air the library into the classroom? Okay. We need to for that good old musty book smell to make our students more exhausted, tired, and abused. Remember the dark we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads here. But a vent in the classroom? That's an odd design choice for the school. Then again, everything about this school is odd. Uh, um. This vent is the other reason I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is going just big enough for someone to be able to fit. So we should watch this carefully too. Well that, uh, you mean for you to fit. I don't know if you've seen Katie, man, but she's quite a... Uh... Shifando. Let's say that. Shif, shif, shifando. Getting through the vent is a problem. And we all seen the videos of people trying to fit into small spaces. Well seen. It's not something you do unless you want major issues. Do not walk into that vent, Katie. Constantly, you're not getting in that fucking vent, Katie. I don't think I could fit through there. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be tough. She's aware. <laughs> She's aware. She's aware she found her. Yeah. Well, I guess this is a perfect spot to keep a lookout. Then... Anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. All right. It's finally time to set up plenty in motion. I'm getting nervous. <sighs> My heart's racing. All right. Would I like to leave? Yes, I would like to leave. Wait, so we're gonna have to die hard this? Alright. I don't really wanna die hard this. The way you wanna place the cameras. You're right. Let's aim the one link to the receiver at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself, the minute it opens, the receiver will let us know. Mm -hmm. and if, you and if you place the camera to face the moving bookcase, okay. yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Mm. And... Oh yeah, we're putting the other two sensors. Remember. Well, there are two entrances to the library. The front entrance is the stairs, and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one at each entrance. That way, we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. Didn't you say a person could fit through the vent that connects to the classroom? Hey! Wait, shouldn't we make sure the person could actually fit through it? That's... I think it'll be fine, since we'll keep the watch... Since we'll be keeping watch in the classroom. But should we investigate a little more just in case? But we can't reach that eye. Hmm. We need something to stand on. Um, moving louder. Uh, oh, I can probably use this ladder. Just don't try getting into the vent. Oh, please don't climb into the vent. Please don't climb into the vent. That's how all the entire stars do not climb into the vent. Here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. The worst part is, right? Going into the vent from this side is a bunch of books. You cannot enter or exit the vent without making everything look suspicious. In fact, we should be putting the light away at once. Do you want to switch? Yes. Yes, Suichi. I want to switch. Nah, I'm fine. She's lying, Switch. She's lying. I'm a conscious. I know what two thoughts. By the way, can you see my, um... Delicate? Damn it! Thought it again! Uh, sorry. 
Don't get don't get worried, sweetie. You're a lucky man. She doesn't sound embarrassed. Shameless woman. Shameless. Bonk. Bonk. Only chair. Only chair. Oh, whatever. He can't unsee them. Anyway, this is the vent. And. Tell her let me find out about me. Oh, she's not shaming for days. There's a crate covering the vent. I don't think anyone can go through. Can I take the crate off? Uh, there we go. The crate came off pretty easily. Suspicious? Did you break something, Kaede? A back! Um, no. I didn't break it. The Suichi is suspicious. I saw the look in his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the crate into the duck. I lifted my body and looked inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? I mean, if Mika was in the situation, she would have fallen and the bookcase would have fallen on her and she would have like a book hiding a private and her one leg in that direction, other leg in that direction. I keep talking about Mika in every video, but let's be real, she's one of the more interesting characters in the series. It'd be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way though. Do not move the books. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom, so that should be okay, right? Uh, how are you even gonna know what direction you're supposed to go into while you're inside the vent? Because, I mean, it's a vent. Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. Wow. No one going to notice that. Totally. Then I began to arrange the books around the vent. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Hmm. Are you okay? Katie? What's wrong? Uh, yeah, this will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, this definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like children's palettes. Well, this is a nice way to hype yourself up, but you're setting yourself up again. You're setting yourself up again. You're setting yourself up again. What I'm saying is, well, don't plan for failure. Have a contingency plan for it. Always. Because while you might win, you need to take consideration your chance of losing. Like Bodokuma deciding, yeah, fuck this shit, I'm out and blowing the whole place up. Take, don't put it out of mind if it's glaring at you in the face. Hype yourself up, sure. But be prepared in case someone stabs you in the back. Just say, just say, can't always have the benefit of the doubt here. I actually really like complicated contraptions, like Rube Goldberg machines and stuff. Uh, so I'm positive this will work. This setup is perfect. Uh, um, <laughs> you really think so? Of course. We'll definitely catch Mastermind, and then we'll all escape. Oh, right. So let's hurry and set up the cameras. Then? Yes. So I think it'll be a good idea to set up the cameras between books so that... Uh, oh, hold on. I had an idea what was on top of the bookcase. What if we place a camera up there? I'm sure the Mastermind wouldn't notice it. But... Ah, uh, but with all the books stacked on top, I don't know if there's room for the camera. You know? I'll test that out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll get the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for a camera. Right? That way, you won't waste any time, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right! Let's do it! All right. Climb a ladder and look at the top of the bookcase. Hmm, mm, there are way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered in the end with cluttered stacks of books. All right. This is nothing. As I move the ladder, I reorganize the books bit by bit. Ah, I see what you did there. Jeez, there are too many books. Why are we too hard to set the camera up here? I knew it. Hm, I thought so. No. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Uh, uh how does the song in, in um, fucking game go? Android's the game. Uh, uh, smile just a little while longer. Everything will be alright. Some shit like it. Like, is that is that how it went? What's the Android's the game called? I forgot what it's called. Human. Human something. Detroit become human. Aha. Hey, I remember. I remember. I also remember I roasted the shit out of everybody in that game. No one was safe from me. <laughs> no one was safe from me. She's crying. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. 
She's crying. You know what I'm going to say. Anybody who's watched the previous videos know what I'm going to say at this moment. For every tier that's at least $20. Right? Because how do these androids refill the tear ducts? Do they just have like injections? Like, like refill the tear ducts and check? And then. I, I, I need to know. This is, this is important information for the future. I want to know if I should buy Android if I'm going to pay more for tear ducts. I, don't ask why I'm so serious about this. They said that, like, like, they must give me a feature list and tear ducts, I'm just going to tick no. Do not want to spend another $300. That would be more optional. Like, they ask why? No $300 for you. For Android sad, tell me it's sad. Don't need to look at you and tell me you're sad. Tell me you're sad. I strangled him and I ran away. You go, go. Hey. I oh, went the flamethrower style. When they were spraying the light. Like, yep, that's in the night. Let's go to the cyber life store and bang the bots. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, yeah, shut up, North. Shut up, North. Don't mean that you gotta find ass that you a good person, okay? That will be my quote for the rest of my life. Don't mean that you gotta find ass that you a good person. That is my quote. I'm gonna say it to everybody. That oh man. Yeah, that's my quote. Yeah, yeah, do the thing. Hey, do the thing. Lady, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, that's alright. I continued moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. Might just make things more cluttered and more suspicious. Jeez. What the fuck did she do? How has anybody not noticed that? How does it if the, if the master by walks in here and just so happens to not notice that? That is stupid, man. That is stupid. I don't care what you say, man. That is fucking stupid. Jeez. That would be fucking stupid. The usually cluttered library is all of a sudden uncluttered. Therefore, who's to say they didn't open my little, uh, revolving moving door here? Flipped up in the book. Wait! Ah, uh, Katie, is this really the time to be reading the book? Curiosity switching. You told me you wouldn't do the same. Ah, uh, sorry. I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. I made that excuse. I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but... Um... Looks like there are too many books after all. Can't really make space, can you? Aww. It'd be easy if I could just move into the crowd. That would look suspicious. But that would look suspicious. You're right. Like this isn't suspicious. The only time someone doesn't notice that the entire upper library section is now made organized <laughs> is if they are highly, highly unobservant. <sighs> yeah, we have to minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the cameras. And I guess it would be better to put the camera between the books like you suggested. Right? Yeah. In his mind, he's thinking, Dumbass, I said that at the beginning. Why don't you just listen to me? <laughs> you look hardly happy. Uh, mm, no, I don't, Dumbass. Uh, if, if we put it on top of the bookcase, the handle wouldn't quite reach. Aww. Uh, yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea. Is that alright? So about the places to put the cameras. We decided to place a security sensor on top of a moving bookcase and the camera linked to it will be set up right here. <sighs> that way it will capture the movement the mastermind moves. Well, that way it will capture the movement. The mastermind typo. Type with someone when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Alright. I see. We gotta place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I suppose so. I think yeah. And this bookcase is good. They would have to pass by you no matter which door they use. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. And I'll set up the cameras connected to the security sensor. I'll set up carefully, carefully so the camera's clear shut when the master mind moves the bookcase. Then, let me take the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near the door. Hey! Oh, I almost forgot. I brought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Yeah. Thanks. Alright. 
Let's get on with this. How do you... Uh, that seems so sus, man. That's like in your face. That is in your face. That is in your face. The only thing that has to be visible is the lens. Right? So why are they putting it in front of the books? Is it just me? Is it me? The sensor makes sense, right? But the camera's KD. So would you please tell us she's being dumb? I'm more conscious than I think she's up right now. Could that be got to work? A meticulously placed... Meticulously, she said. The camera's in the caps of the bookshelves. Gaps? I don't know what gaps you speak of. Gaps? Mm -hmm. Never heard of them. Camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. Put it behind the books. Put it behind the books. I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. That's what you're worried about. These cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. There's no point if the mastermind just so happens to walk out. What's that green thing? Ooh, camera! And takes it away. Then you have no evidence. Evidence? God, finish. Done. We don't even know evidence. We know evidence. I don't know what you're talking about. You, you, you're the evidence. And it stabs you in the back. Let's get this video. I'm actually very sick right now. I'm trying my best to do this video and enjoy it, but um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna accomplish further in this section. All right, that should do it. Okay. I'm finished too. Hmm. No matter which entrance they use, Mastermind will be caught on camera. But so one, I I forgot the plan, man. All I know is there's a camera connected to the sensor. I thought all the cameras were connected to the sensor. Wow, well, right, cool, man. Ah, that's where the button comes in. I see, I see. I get, it gets the alert on the on their little button thing, and they press it. The receiver, they press it, and then other two cameras take a picture. I see. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that. And the signal is receiver. Mm -hmm. At that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this should do it. No doubt about it. This plan will probably work. No, not just probably. It'll definitely work. Then. Alright then. Our final sensor, final step. Turn the sensors on. Alright. We should turn them on before we leave. All right. There's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have to leave quick. Yeah. Got it. We're a waste of time with the f Got it. It'll be a waste of film if we took our pictures. Hey, I go there and I'll be like posing and shit. <laughs> 10 seconds. Pose as fast as possible in 10 seconds. And you literally just start dancing. After setting our chap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly exited the library. And I'm gonna end there. Plan in motion. I have to end it there, because I feel like someone hit me over the head with something. And I'm not feeling any better than I thought I would. This amount of a little cringe, aren't you like, subscribe. Make a version of the keyboard a couple of times, so that if you guys always, and check out all the links in the description, especially our second channel, Exhausted Genshin. Honestly, I might change the name of the channel to Exhausted Gacha or something, and then play other gacha games. Because while Genshin used to be popping off, Genshin's falling hard, f falling down, flat, ex to extremes. The sad part is, there's not going to be another game like Genshin. There might be similarities, but with Wuthering Waves coming out, so 7 Deadly Sins, uh, Blue Protocol, all sorts of other games. I feel like they're not going to capture as well, and if there's one of them that does do better, if they do the exact same mistakes that Oyo vs is doing with Genshin, then it's just gonna fall off. Or the same mistakes that Tower of Fantasy did when they came in, then it's just gonna fall off. I played Tower of Fantasy, I played shit out of it when it started. And it's at some point, I just stopped giving a fuck. But uh, let's hope something comes out soon. Because I can't play Genshin anymore, man. I'm getting angry at the game. They don't release any content, they're not doing anything worthwhile for any one of the players to play. When the game came out, when the game came out, we had so much content that you could do at once per update. And for the next couple of updates, it was the same. You had like three different character quests and this and that and bobs and whistles all over the show and then events. That was like, that was like 
first the initial up the initial re release two updates after that now we get jack shit until a new area is released when a new area is released after i don't give a fuck about the area uh, I just needed to get that raw data to my system. I could have done it on Genshin channel, but I did it here because I needed to do it somewhere. I'm not recording Genshin today. So, yeah, pray for me. <laughs>